Paul, the apostle. I read several videos where they were calling Paul a bastard and saying that he's a devil and, and evil and blah, blah, blah. He is a chosen man of God. And let me tell you something. Jesus, on the road to Damascus, Jesus chose him to, to, uh, to teach to the Gentiles. First of all, Jesus did tell his disciples to the Jews first, to go to them first. That's why Jesus came. When he went away... Um, remember, he said, other sheep I have that is not of this fold of the, Jew, Hebrew, the Jews, them too I must bring in a nutshell. So he, when he came to the earth, he came, uh, you, you know, when man was created, uh, Adam all the way down, God, uh, Jesus came, he chose those disciples and those disciples, uh, their uh, teaching is supposed to go all the way around. Remember, he told them to go to, to Jerusalem, Judea, blah, blah, blah. Uh, I'm going to read this real quick. Um, Acts chapter 1, verse 4 through 7. And being assembled together with them, commanded them that they should not depart from Jerusalem, but wait for the promise of the Father, which saith, He ye have heard me. When they therefore were come together, they asked of him, saying, Lord, will thou at this time restore again the kingdom to Israel? So Jesus said, um, uh, you know, it's up to his father. He said, and he said who, uh, unto them, it is not for you to know the times of the season, season which the father had put in his own power, but ye shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost has come upon you, and ye shall be witnesses unto me both in Jerusalem and in all Judea, it's not just Jerusalem, and in Samaria, and into the uttermost part of the earth. And remember the lady of Samaria came to Jesus? Um, uh, let me read something real quick. And behold, a woman, this is a ex, oh, I'm sorry, Matthew's, chapter 15 verse 22 and behold a woman of canaan remember abraham came came out of canaan um uh, he, she, um and behold a woman of canaan came out of the same coasts of uh well i guess uh, tyra and sidon sidon is it sidon um, that's 21 then jesus went thence and departed into the coasts of tyre and sidon Remember, Jesus spoke of these cities of the wickedness. And so the woman that lived in Canaan came out of the same coasts and cried unto him, saying, Have mercy on me, O Lord, thou son of David. My daughter is grievously vexed with the devil. But he answered her not a word. And his disciples came and besought him, uh, saying, Send her away, for she cried after us. Since you you're ignoring her, She's asking us to do something. But he answered and said, I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of, of the house of Israel, meaning the nation of Israel. Um, he is sent. But then he commanded others to go after the Gentiles. Then came she and worshiped him saying, Lord, help me. Uh, like when she came and worshiped him, Jesus didn't stop her and say, hey, don't worship me. 26 but he answered her and said it is not meat to take the children's bread and to cast it to dogs the children's word the the word of god and cast it to dogs not that she was a physical dog call her animal i'm like oh you dog and that's that dog spirit um but she believed in him and she heard of uh, him healing and she said truth lord yet the dogs eat of the crumbs which fell from th their master's table which was a good point she was just saying, hey, give me whatever. Then Jesus answered her and said to her, O woman, great is thy faith. Be unto thee, even at thy will. And her daughter was made whole from that hour. Acts chapter 3 verse 25 says, Ye are the children of the prophets and of the covenant which God made with our fathers, saying unto Abraham, And in thy seed shall all the kindreds of the earth be blessed. Until you first... God, having raised up his son, Jesus, sent him to bless you in turning away every one of you from his iniquities. Um, Acts chapter, let's see. Um, remember when Peter was talking about, uh, 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 he went into a trance and he saw this vision and it says, Peter, rise, slay, um, eat. But Peter... Um, uh, and, we, and we were looking at it as far as 
food, like God's cleansed food. I mean, you God do if you pray over it. But this was concerning the uh, the men that were three times the sheep came down of four beasts, four different beasts on four corners of the earth, and and he said that he don't want. Peter said he don't eat anything uncommon. But that later in, in that relates to the spirit, because Peter explained that um, when this vision came down three times he said behold three men came but he explained in uh acts chapter 9 verse 11 to 17 um acts 10 verse 9 to 15 and that's just the uh, okay in acts 10 verse 28 and then acts chapter 10 verse 35 to 36 <laughs> Because, you know, I wanted to read it, but anyway, that explains, in Acts 11, chapter 1 through 4, in Acts 11, verse 9 through 11, it's a confirmation of him explaining what the vision came down. And, you know, while we think in food, he was talking about people. Like, so you have these people with these videos saying, uh... Um, calling other races, uh, uh, I mean, uh, uh, other than Jews, um that you know especially paul uh paul and barnabas was called to um witness to the gentiles jesus knew what he was doing he came yes he came to the lost tribe of israel he wanted to preach that word but then he told peter uh, he told he called um uh paul straight out and told him you are to witness to the gentiles you are to witness to the gentiles so how are you going to say, and then not only that, Paul, all those, yes, he did those things, killed people, you know, a lot of people before they got saved, st uh, stole, went to, did things to, you know, to get them in trouble, some killed, but God forgives. So God forgave Paul and, and said, I got to have a calling in your life and you will uh, witness to the Gentiles. I had to come out and do the duty. I had to start first. I had to come to Jerusalem because of the promise. I had to, um, um, like he told uh, the disciples, come follow me and, and I will show you how to be fishers of men. Then um, in Acts, it talks about um, when Peter got up and was talking about the Holy Ghost, he said, it is for them, for us and those who are far off and whoever else believe. So through their word, when Jesus says, go and teach all nations, he didn't say all the Jews and, you know, first he had to start with his people. And then, um, and then, um, uh, relied on them to finish the work. That's why he said, you must finish the work that I came because I have to go back to my father. I fulfilled what I said. I was going to come to my people and then I'm going to have to return back. But you're supposed to finish. So don't say call Gentiles and, you know, call it Paul. Uh, he's of a devil. He is not. You better be careful what you're saying because even though he, he's still alive, he's in heaven, but he is a man of God. God is no God does not like uh discord against brethren. He is anointed man of God. He was filled with the Holy Ghost. Jesus uh, gave him the Holy Ghost. And how do you think that and somebody said, Oh, he had a nerve to write all these books and he's a Gentile? First of all, he was a Jew. You have many people, Mexicans, who are full full, full blooded Mexicans who were born in America, they're gonna say, Well, I'm an American.